Today we're gonna go through what a typical day looks like for me as an indie game developer who works a full-time job and is a dad. Why I think this is so important is I've recently had a few friends and colleagues reach out to me saying they wanna start that side project or start game development, but they just don't have time. Now, if I can do all these things and make a game on the side, anybody can do it. But before we get into what my day looks like, we are one sub away from our ultimate goal. So you could be the one that makes a difference. So hit that subscribe button and let's get on with it. So every morning we start off with daddy duties, Kobe, and then a cold shower. We have that checked off, so let's get into it. A wise man once said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but I disagree. I think coffee is. That's why I start every day with six cups of coffee. But just in case that wise man is right, I also throw in some raisin bread with almond butter and jam. Once that's prepped, I head down to start my day. I like to come down about an hour before my work starts to get a little bit of game dev done. I prep the night before with the task I want to get done and I fill out everything in my calendar. I find using my calendar is a great way to stay organized in this hectic lifestyle I've chosen. But more importantly, I don't even have to think in the morning on what task I'm going to start. So today, it looks like we're working on the one-eyed monster. For those of you that are new, I'm currently working on a roguelike game where you are in a demon employee in a hell that's gone too soft and you are here to make hell great again. Lust is the boss that we're building out and the one-eyed monster is one of the abilities she uses and summons to keep the tempo of the game. So let's dive into Unity and try to crush this out before work starts. So the idea for the one-eyed monster is simple. It has spawned periodically, it shoots tracking bullets that when make contact explode leaving a sticky residue on the floor. The player has to manage where these bullets explode to not leave complete chaos throughout the battlefield. It's just before 8 a.m. here, and we've made some good progress on the one-eyed monster, but I gotta get to my day job, and I like to keep them separate, so I'll see everyone at lunch. For lunch, I always eat last night's leftovers. Today is a pulled pork sandwich with some carrots. I also use lunchtime as a way to get extra dad points by spending a few extra minutes with my daughter. All right, lunch is done. Spent some time with my daughter, which is awesome. And I have about 15, 20 minutes left before I have to get back to work. Now, I haven't read a ton of books, but one of the reasons why I think I can accomplish so much while keeping my sanity is because of the lessons taught in the compound effect. Essentially what that is, is you do a ton of small tasks a day and over a large period of time, those small tasks become great big tasks. Like building an entire indie game, or even creating a YouTube channel. That's why I'm gonna use the remaining 20 minutes to film the intro to this video and hopefully get some editing in as well too. We'll see you when work is done. <laughs> Being able to set up and record quickly is crucial when you split your time between working full-time, YouTube, being a parent, and game dev. As you can see with my setup, I just have to turn on a few lights, move them around, set up the mic, and we're good to go. I was also able to sneak in some of that editing. Four o'clock hits and I am done. Well, some days it's a little bit earlier, some days it's a little bit later, but today we're going to stay on track. Now I like to take usually the next 15 minutes before I go full dad mode, just to either brainstorm some game ideas, some new video ideas. So today we're gonna to use the time to build out the concept of a new VR game. So the idea is Halloween's around the corner and one of my buddies asked me to build him a VR game. His name is Slabs. We're gonna call it Slabs Ball Pit. The idea is it's gonna be a really friendly ball pit to begin with and it's gonna get scarier and scarier as you progress throughout level. There's some cool things we're gonna to need to figure out. Let's just dive in and script out at a high level kind of the key segments of the video that I need to make. All right, 4.15 is here, and something I promised my wife is that I leave YouTube, game dev, and work behind till 7.30 p.m. So I'm gonna head up, be the best dad I can be, the best husband I can be, so I can come back at 7.30 and fully submerge myself in game dev. I'm really excited for what we have planned, and I'll see you then. All right, dev mode. So here's the plan for tonight. We're building out our lust boss fight. We have a few abilities. Normally what I've seen is people just use like a finite state machine, which is just kind of a simple way to control like stages of a boss fight. And you just loop, right? Stage one, do this. Stage two, do this. Stage three, do this. Very simple and you can make it more complex, but the more complex you make it, the less scalable it really is. So I was doing some research and there's a thing called behavior trees. 
Now, I don't know a lot about it yet, so I picked up a Udemy course, which that's what we're gonna do tonight. Or I can just buy the asset on the asset store for like $85, which would save me a ton of time. But who has that kind of money when we could just learn all about behavior trees? So that's what we're gonna do, dive in, see if we can get some sort of tree working. We'll explain more as we go. After some learning, I've sketched out a behavior tree that we are gonna build in another video all about the last boss fight. So essentially you're gonna go in, you're gonna check the boss health, and then that's gonna determine whether you're in stage one, two, or three. Behavior trees always read left to right, which is why you see stage three on the left and stage one on the right. We've still got a lot of coding and learning to do, but I think this is a really good start so far. All right, it is 9.17. And I think we are going to call it a night. Let me know if you thought this style of video was helpful, kind of getting insight into how I manage my time and how you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish just by doing some simple time management and, you know, working on stuff every single day. And I think that's the most important lesson is if you want to do something, just do it. Don't make excuses, get in there and do it. And if you wanna see progress on the game that we're making and play it, check out one of these videos here.